Hey everyone, it's been a while. I um, wanted to talk a little bit today about hot water heater and the air conditioner, and then also the gas line connection so that you can uh, understand a little bit uh, the installation process. And then a couple things on here that we'll see if we get uh, final inspection on and might have to change it. So let's take a look. You can see we've been putting in some fencing um, but we also got the hot water heater in installed and it's working so basically um, if you remember we initially just had a cold water hot water copper stub out and then this three quarter inch uh, galvanized gas line stubbing out so from there we put a, a valve so we can shut off um, the hot water heater if we wanted to disassemble it and install it. It's also a sediment trap right here, which I believe is supposed to be three inches long. And then this is kind of a cool little thing I got off of Amazon. It's called a Dormont uh, Ultra Flow. So it's 36 inch. I was hoping to get one a little bit shorter, but they were like three times as much money. So this one was like 44 bucks and it's three quarter inch inside so that's basically what you want you don't want to put one of those little skinny ones on you run a three quarter inch line all the way over here and then end up putting too small of a flex line on it or you can hard you can hard pipe this too which i just didn't want to go through the the headache of that so put this flex line on it copper soldered in so here's the cold no sorry this is the hot comes over you can buy these valve kits specifically for your hot water heater and they make it real nice because they have all the unions these guys here this whole valve set for the hot water cold water and and then also this is a little emergency valve here so and then what I did was I, I ran a cold water spigot here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a hole right through here so that they can put a hose on the other side of the fence. If they wanna hose down the, you know, the courtyard in here or water plants or something like that. So that's about it. The, you can see the condenser is pretty close. And the cool thing about this is you probably remember the line sets. There's three line sets. There's one for the living room, bedroom, and then one that we ran an 18,000 BTU unit to the garage. Um, then we just got this little flex line to the um, disconnect. Now, the thing that I don't know if I'm going to get away with is having that disconnect right behind there. He may want me to move it over here because I believe we're not supposed to be behind but I don't know this whole this whole setup here hopefully he's not gonna have any problems with because it's it's gonna be quite a bit of work to change anything but we wanted to try and get it in a small space so that we could end up putting four smaller trash cans here we're gonna get rid of these big I think they're 65 gallon um, we're gonna get the smaller ones 32 and they'll fit in here nice so that this pathway doesn't get too narrow right now you see how they're turned sideways plus they're beat to you know all beat up so let me get rid of those got the motion sensor light in what else the eaves getting some paint on them and then this is the little gate that we're fence and gate that we're going to put in here so it'll separate the backyard okay so this is the main uh, connection to the garage which then feeds the ADU so you remember we had the underground stub right there that that big 90 sweep and we put a one inch union here a little nipple a 90 another nipple one inch valve another nipple 90 and then that was the stub out, the original stub out uh, from the rough end. And then over on the valve, around the meter side, 
so I'm still waiting for SDG&E to schedule a time to upgrade this. Um, but I just went ahead and did the connection so that we could start running everything. So here's the original sweep. We put a valve there. This is a new valve here because before it came out of the meter and just went straight into the main residence. But I added that valve and I'm not sure if it's code requires it, but it certainly makes it nice if we need to change something. Say for example, we're gonna change a valve or the range or something in our place. We wouldn't need to shut down the ADU because we could just shut down this valve right here. And then this one that feeds the ADU could stay open. So it'll be completely separated. Okay, I'll just walk you real quick through the ADU. You can see we're getting appliances in. So we got the dishwasher, the refrigerator, got the floating shelves up with the lights, and then the range and the hood vent going in. And then in the bathroom, let's see. It's a little vanity. Shower's all hooked up now with hot water. I gotta switch that out. That was the original chrome, but you can see everything else is polished nickel. So I'm gonna switch out the overflow and the plug for that. Uh, we got the stackable washer and dryer in. Everything's running. It's nice. And then what we're gonna end up doing is I got the shower door, the glass door, which I gotta install. I gotta put it together. It's here, and then here's the IKEA closet that we're gonna put here in the bedroom. So there's the little 6,000 BTU head for the bedroom. And then there's a 12,000 BTU head in here. So this thing's gonna run pretty efficient. It's nice and cool and warm. So the insulation is really good. And then just gotta finish up some trim, some painting, some caulking, and it's close. So we're looking forward to getting this thing buttoned up next couple weeks, maybe three weeks, and then get it a nice final clean and then hopefully we'll be able to get it rented I would say April 1st that's kind of our goal if we can get it done by April 1st we'll be pretty happy um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put together a quick video uh, probably in the next week or so and I'm gonna go through the costs so we'll, we have all our cost tracking and I can let you know uh, materials and then also our labor hours and kind of give you an idea of uh, what you're gonna run into if you if, how much you're doing it yourself or if you're gonna sub it out and you can kind of see what these things cost okay so we'll see you on the next one